Hey, it's Erin. Let's talk about abs. If you're anything like me, at the end of your workout, you grab a towel and a workout mat, hit the ground, and start doing some kind of ab circuit. Crunches, toe touchers, planks. Kind of boring. I think it's time to mix things up a little bit. Today we're going to do a standing cable abs workout. Why standing? Well, there are several benefits to doing standing abs. The first one is it increases your stability. So you're able to work on balance, which you'll see in the video. It also recruits more muscles. Laying down, you're basically just focusing on your abs, which is not a bad thing, but standing abs exercises can burn more calories, can help tie the physique together aesthetically because you're training the muscles together. The third reason standing abs are so awesome is that it really causes you to focus on your balance. So you're gonna become aware of little asymmetries from your left side to your right side, and you'll be able to work with them. As with any other single arm or single leg exercise, what I want you to do here is start on your non-dominant side. So for you, whatever leg you jump off of, or whatever leg is your strong leg, I want you to stand on your weaker or your non-dominant side first, and then move to your stronger side. You're gonna be a little bit fresher on the weaker side, which is going to allow you to work a little bit harder and bring up those asymmetries so we're even from left side to right side. Another benefit to standing abs is that it takes up less space. You basically need just one station at the cable and you're standing the whole time. You need the handle attachment and the rope and that is it. And the last benefit to doing standing abs exercises, which is a little bit off topic, but if you're sweaty, you don't wanna lay on the floor. I know that's me, sometimes I don't necessarily want to get on the gym floor and roll around on it. As far as programming this routine into your workout, feel free to do it after upper body training, or if you have a dedicated hit or cardio day, do this after your hit or cardio. Try not to do abs on leg day. And the reason for this is you're training your hip flexors and your hip flexors tend to fatigue while you're doing legs. So you don't wanna go and do abs right after because you're also working your hip flexors. So aim to do this routine twice a week and you will see awesome results. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's get into this workout. The first exercise is a pal-off press. You're gonna set the cable to about chest height and then place an overhand grip on the cable and you're going to actually do most of the pushing with the arm that's closest to the cable. And what this is going to do is you have to stabilize against the cable. So you're using your TVA or transverse abdominis. That's your internal girdle. You're also using your obliques and believe it or not, you're using your legs and glutes. So this is kind of one of those total body exercises. And all of the exercises here, you want to do three sets of 15 to 20 reps. Now the idea is to not go super, super heavy and to <laughs> quote unquote, tone the muscle. So we're not necessarily looking to build the abs out because we don't want really blocky abs. The goal here is to strengthen the TVA or the core underneath your abs, and then also to get some definition in the rectus abdominis, which is that six pack. So everything will kind of pop and you'll get just a nice slim core. Next exercise is a standing cable knee raise. And you can use the handle attachment for this and stabilize your body. I like to put my arms out and just create a solid base with the other leg. And you're just thinking about driving that knee up and forward. And of course, this is gonna work the six pack. It's gonna work a little bit of the obliques, hip flexors, it'll hit your quads too. And you'll find just like any other unilateral exercise or single leg exercise that you're gonna be a little bit more stable on one side versus the other. So be sure you're performing the exercises evenly on both sides. So I kind of make a mental note of where that other foot was and try to line up both feet at the same place. So I'm pulling exactly the same way. So 15 to 20 reps here on each side and you're gonna take about 30 seconds in between each set. This is gonna give you enough time 
to recover just a little bit, but not enough time to let that heart rate drop. Next, we're moving into the bell tower crunch. So you're going to pull this rope to the same side. So starting with the rope over the right shoulder, pull to the right knee, and the right knee should be forward. This is one of Jim Stepani's exercises, and it's a really interesting variation on the rope crunch. I like it because it throws you off balance enough to create a little bit more work for that core. And anytime you're doing a crunch, be sure your body is almost in like a C shape at the bottom. And what this is going to do is it's going to ensure that your abs are working and not your hip flexors and other parts of your body. So you wanna really engage those abs. Think about curling forward with the upper body and keeping constant tension. And of course, cables are really great for this. They're gonna help you have something, some form of resistance to lean up against. And weight is pretty evenly distributed from right to left. Next up, we're gonna do some wood choppers. Set that cable up to above your head and you're going to pull from high to a little bit low. You can also do another variation, there are tons of variations here, where you set the cable low and you pull high. This is an excellent exercise for really developing the obliques and I think it's great, especially if you're using light weight for slimming that midsection. So you're gonna feel it, of course, in that six pack or the rectus abdominis, but you're going to feel it in the sides of your abs or the obliques. You're also going to stabilize with your legs. So here, just making sure you're standing evenly on both sides. Pulling evenly, arms are straight, and with this exercise, that arm closest to the machine is going to be the one doing the pulling. The arm farthest from the machine is simply helping to stabilize. Arms stay nice and straight. Really focus on contracting those abs during each rep. Next, we're going into the flamingo pull. I have to admit, this one is one that I had not done in a long time and you're going to pull same arm driving that same leg up. So starting on the left side here, and as you pull, almost like doing a row, you're going to simultaneously drive your knee forward and up. The thing to think about here is keeping your hips square to the ground. So don't allow your hips to shear, don't allow that the leg that's working to rise up higher than the resting leg. So keep everything nice and even, keep your back nice and flat, keep the core tight. And this is one of those exercises, it does not look like it's that difficult, does, <laughs> does not look like it hits your abs that much, but it really does. So stay present, not like me, stay focused, and really think about pulling and driving at the same time. This is great for that TVA or transverse abdominus. This is gonna help make that midsection smaller. And 15 to 20 reps, and three sets here too. Nice lightweight, but you want it heavy enough to give you some resistance. This routine is awesome if you're short on space, short on time, or even if you're traveling. Most hotel gyms do have cable equipment, so you're able to do this pretty much anywhere. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. If you try these exercises and you love them, please tag me on social media. It's really cool to see your progress and see you training hard. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard and train smart, y'all.